In this chapter, we are going to focus on three major problems of macroeconomic. The issues include business cycle, unemployment, and inflation. In reality, national income of a nation is changing over a period of time. Business cycle happens when national income is fluctuated in a wave-like pattern. A standard business cycle goes through four stages, namely recovery, peak, recession, and drop. During a recovery period, economy is expanding, whereby output level increases that reduces unemployment rate. The economy is reaching the boom stage when the output level is at the peak that reduces unemployment at the lowest level. GDP or output level will start to decline in the recession period that leads to higher unemployment. Output level will drop at the lowest level at the trough stage that expands the highest level of unemployment. Unemployment is a situation where labor force are willing to work but unable to find jobs. Labor force include all persons aged 15 to 64 who are employed or actively seeking employment. Labor force group does not include students, housewives, pensioners, and discouraged workers. Unemployment rate in a year is measured by using number of unemployed divided by labor force. In this example, let us use the labor force and total unemployment data in Malaysia to calculate unemployment rate in years 2009 and 2010 respectively. Generally, there are four types of unemployment, namely fictional, structural, cyclical, and seasonal. Fictional unemployment happens when people are temporarily unemployed because they need time to move from one job to another. There are three causes of fictional unemployment. The first group of fictional unemployment is people who are moving jobs for better position or higher salaries. The second group is school leavers or fresh graduates who enter the workforce for the first time. The third group is those who like to re-enter the workforce after a break. This group includes housewives who have lesser family commitment as their children have grown up. Structural unemployment arises due to structural changes in the economy. Structural changes create two groups of unemployed workers. The first group is unemployed because they do not have the skills in demand due to technological advancement. For example, when banks introduced the automatic teller machine, bank tellers lost jobs to computer technology. The second group of structural unemployed workers are those who are unable to change location of jobs due to international competition. For instance, production of all footwear of Nike is outsourced to various manufacturing plants in developing countries due to low labor costs. Therefore, the US workers who were previously involved in footwear manufacturing become unemployed. Among the solutions to address structural unemployment are providing upskilling, retraining, or additional education. Cyclical unemployment happens when an economy is in a recession stage of business cycle. It will continue until the economy is out of recession. That takes several years. Cyclical unemployment can be reduced by boosting the economy through higher government spending and reducing tax. Seasonal unemployment occurs because some types of jobs are not available all year due to season or climate changes. For example, a fisherman is unable to fish in winter or during the monsoon season. Moreover, ski instructors in Aspen are unemployed at the end of April because ski season is over. Unemployment creates both economic costs and social costs to a nation. Unemployment represents economic waste to the government because taxation revenue is reduced due to lower levels of personal income, spending, sales and profits. Besides that, during periods of high unemployment, crime rates, suicides, domestic violence, family breakup, health problems, poverty and drug abuse all tend to increase. 
Inflation is defined as continuous increase in the general price level of commodities in the economy. It is a situation where there is too much money chasing too few goods. This causes a fall in the value of money. Hence, each unit of money buys less than before. There are two causes of inflation, namely demand pull factor and cost push factor. Demand pull inflation happens when aggregate demand increases that shift eddy curve to the right. This causes increase in the average level of all prices rapidly. On the other hand, cost push inflation happens when a rise in production costs shift aggregate supply curve to the left, this raising general level of prices. Among the factors that shift eddy curve to the right are increases in household consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. Household consumption increases due to higher incomes from wage rises. Investment increases when low interest rate that encourages consumer credit and bank lending. Aggregate demand increases for whatever the government spends its money on. Lastly, higher export prices will increase net exports that leads to higher aggregate demand. Cost push inflation can be caused by three cost best factors. The first factor is due to wage level increases in response to pressure of labor unions. Second factor is due to producers create an artificial shortage that increases product price. The third factor is due to prices of imported goods increase. During inflation period, the real value of money falls. This reduces real purchasing power of salaried workers and pensioners who are dependent on fixed incomes. Similarly, holders of government bonds, fixed deposits in bank, and life insurance receive low real returns. Moreover, creditors also receive the money out to them with lower real value of money. On the other hand, debtors have advantage during an inflation because the real value of money falls and it reduces value of repayments. During high inflation period, businessmen can earn higher profits from rising prices. Besides that, property owners can gain benefit from inflation due to property prices increase.